Our story begins as Haruka hides near some goblins. Haruka blows his cover by stepping on the smallest branch, so the goblins chase after him. Haruka smiles with utter confidence as he jumps into the air, and all the goblins fall into his trap. Haruka is very pleased with himself, as he is doing a great job surviving alone in another world. A look back we see how Haruka got himself in this situation. Haruka has always been a loner, and Haruka explains that it is because he never wanted anything to do with his classmates. Haruka didn't like any of them, and they would get in the way of what he found most important, and that was reading. As Haruka looked around his classroom, the divide among the students was very clear. There were the popular girls, the delinquents, the jocks, the class rep, the nerds, and the other category groups. Haruka didn't belong to any of these groups, but he wouldn't have it any other way. This was when a magic circle appeared out of nowhere. Haruka was excited, because it was just like the ones he had read in manga, but Haruka remembered that going to another world is a huge pain. The heroes in the manga always ended up having to be around a bunch of people, but that sounded like torture to Haruka. Haruka tried his best to get out of the classroom, but it didn't go so well. All the other students panicked as the magic circle expanded, but Haruka cleverly escaped through an air vent. Unfortunately for Haruka the magic circle chased him up there, and he found himself in the generic white void place. Haruka knew exactly what to expect from reading so much manga. Haruka wondered where the typical king was, and his daughter who was beyond the reach of any nerd, would show up. Some old man frantically signaled to him, so Haruka realized that this man was some sort of god. It turns out that the teleporting was first come first serve, so Haruka's classmates were teleported already, and Haruka was left behind. Haruka was allowed to pick his status and skills, just before being sent to his new world. A giant board appeared with all the options, but Haruka was disappointed about something. This was the first time the old man summoned so many people, so all the cheat skills were already taken, and only the worthless ones were left. Haruka took a look at his options, but they were all terrible. One skill was just being able to hold a stick. Some other ones were just good overall general health and walking. Haruka made himself feel even worse by seeing some of the overpowered skills that he missed out on, like four element magic. Back to the bad stuff, Haruka found titles like shut in and neat. Haruka demanded for the old man to give him more options, because he wouldn't even be able to pass the first village with the ones he had to choose from. The old man became fed up, so he decided to just give Haruka all the remaining skills at once. Haruka gained all the leftover worthless skills, and he was teleported. In the new world, Haruka is supplied with a bag that can hold unlimited items. Haruka gears up and checks his stats. Haruka's stats screen tells him to roll some dice, and he remembers reading about this skill. It allows Haruka to allocate points by rolling dice. Haruka curses the old god for giving him such a useless skill, and he rolls the dice. Haruka gets a double M, but Haruka has no clue what that means. Haruka assumes the worst, as he thinks that M stands for a masochist. However Haruka's stats screen just tells him to choose which stat he wants to add to. Haruka doesn't think that raw stats will help him survive with his terrible skills, so he chooses to put the points into luck. Haruka's strategy is to completely ignore a balance build, and instead he will just max out luck. Just then Haruka realizes that the M stands for max, because his luck status is now maxed out. Haruka is surprised when he notices that he has two extra skills in the sea of useless skills. Haruka assumes that it is because he was summoned alone. Haruka's loner title means that he is a loner with no friends, and he cannot form a party. Haruka's servitude skill allows him to command others, and it was given to him because of his loner status. That's pretty cool, but it also means that Haruka has to say goodbye to his dreams of having a harem. Haruka wonders where all his classmates are, but it doesn't matter, because he can't party with them anyway. Haruka decides to just begin his journey, and he wants to start by securing a base of operation. It is pretty hard to see through the forest, so Haruka is worried about a monster showing up. Haruka wonders if he has a skill that could be useful, but the only one that comes to mind is the skill that allows him to sleep off. Haruka tries on the contact lenses he has in his bag, and finds that it is actually super useful. It allows him to see a bunch of extra stuff, and he finds that it grants him the appraisal skill. This leads to Haruka finding an edible mushroom that draws out latent abilities. Haruka's bottomless bag lets him take as many as he wants, so Haruka apologizes to it, 
for thinking it was useless earlier. Haruka drinks down some water, but he hears something in the distance. This sound leads him to a cave, and he prays that he doesn't find a monster. Haruka's bag came with a bunch of camping stuff, so he decided to make this cave his base. Haruka uses temperature magic to light some branches on fire and determines that the leftover skills are actually pretty useful. Haruka checked his stats again and found that his temperature magic leveled up, which in fire magic. Haruka worries about what he will do if a monster appears, because he can only smack it with the stick right now, but he just ends up falling asleep. The next day Haruka wakes to find that everything is okay. Haruka has items that repel monsters, and his shut in title, protects his living space. Now Haruka can use fire magic to start fires, so he cooks himself some breakfast. Haruka had some beef jerky in his bag, and Haruka had some of the mushrooms he found the day before. The food is delicious, and Haruka is very grateful for his villager starter bag. It is more than just a villager bag, so Haruka thinks it is more like a bag for a survivalist. Haruka heads out to find more food for later, but he knows that the main concern right now is how to protect himself from monsters. Just then Haruka finds the last thing he wants to see, two goblins. They are small fry monsters, but their stats are higher than expected. Haruka wonders if he can even win, but he realizes that it doesn't matter because Haruka will have to learn to deal with monsters one way or another. Unfortunately Haruka doesn't think that his stick will do much. Haruka does have a skill called wrapping, which allows him to wrap all sorts of things with magic and grants various effects. This seems to make his stick stronger, so Haruka is determined to surpass everyone, even without any cheating skills. Haruka begins his first attack ever, and he brutally beats down the first unsuspecting goblin. The second one tries to attack him, but its moves are pretty lame, and Haruka easily dodges them. Haruka somehow knows how to use a new power, and he eliminates the second goblin. Afterwards Haruka is pleased after winning his first battle, and he heads back to base. Haruka brought back one of the clubs that the goblin used, but he determined that his stick was still better. Haruka is excited to find that he leveled up, and all his stats more than doubled. His cane mastery skill leveled up as well, which is strange, because Haruka just swung his stick around a few times. Haruka got magic infusion skill as well, which probably came from him enchanting his stick with magic. His calisthenic skill also went up, because Haruka has never missed a morning exercise. Haruka is exaggerating quite a bit, as he has only been in this new world for two days. Later Haruka is tired of eating mushrooms already. He would rather eat meat, but Haruka knows that he would be scolded by the class rep for being ungrateful. With his meal done, Haruka decides to try out enhancing himself. This magic infusion skill enhances his physical and magical defenses. Haruka's appraisal skill has also reached level 2, but he wonders why it is showing a bunch of question marks on all his stuff. Haruka decides not to overthink things, and he leaves. Haruka celebrates as the forest blesses him with something already, but he realizes that it is just another mushroom. Haruka searches for meat that might grow out of trees, but Haruka remembers that he is supposed to be practicing his magic. Haruka finds that his enhanced body is much lighter, so much so that it feels like he is teleporting. That is an all as his dexterity is insane now too. Haruka finds a more powerful goblin, but he easily defeats them. Haruka takes out another, so Haruka is confident that he can defeat even a group of three of them now. Haruka actually runs into a group of three goblins, but he is a coward, and Haruka decides that he has had enough fighting for the day. Haruka recaps his day, which consisted of his goblin battle, and magic studying at night. On day 5 Haruka succeeded in defeating a goblin with a single strike, and he decorated his base, with some fancy stuff he made with magic. Haruka is once again pretty pleased, as his life in this new world, is starting to come together. That night Haruka chases a rabbit, as he is desperate to eat some meat. Just then Haruka detects a presence, and he instantly determines that it is not a goblin. It turns out to be his classmates. Haruka is disappointed to see that it is the delinquents. Haruka would rather not get involved with them, but he senses that another group is in the other direction. Haruka's clairvoyant skill allows him to see who it is, but he is horrified to see that it is the popular girls. The jocks are also rapidly approaching. The nerds are nearby too, but after talking to them from time to time in his old world, Haruka would rather take a pass on seeing them. That just leaves the class rep and her friends. Haruka knows that it would be best if he had some friends in this harsh world, and Haruka has known the class rep since grade school. Haruka decides to at least say hello, 
but he stops himself. Haruka realizes that he feels free and isolated right now. Haruka can live the way he wants, without anyone butting in, and Haruka wouldn't exchange that for anything. Haruka makes his final decision, which is to conquer this new world all alone. Haruka hides from the other students, but one of the delinquents hears something from his direction. Haruka is about to be discovered, but the guys end up assuming that the noise came from the bunny that was supposed to be Haruka's dinner. Haruka spies on the delinquents to hear what they are discussing, but the perverts are just talking about girls. They are some real jerks, but Haruka knows that the class rep will stop them from doing anything to the girls. However, the delinquents have a guy named Tanaka on their side, whose skill will allow them to do whatever they want. The delinquents return to the other students, but Haruka is a serious loner and doesn't want anything to do with them. Haruka heads home to enjoy more of his delicious meal, and he finds that his loner skill has leveled up. It's a depressing title because it starts to destroy Haruka's self-confidence. Haruka is still only level 3, and he blames his master of none and blockhead skills. Haruka isn't sure what they do, but he assumes that the master of none means that he can't stay focused on any one thing long enough to make it strong. However, it does allow Haruka to accomplish a lot of different things. As for the blockhead skill, Haruka assumes that it just makes him a puppet, which would make it the worst skill to ever exist. Haruka decides to just eat to relax, but this just reminds him that he doesn't have any meat to eat. On day 7, Haruka wakes up to the sounds of fighting. Haruka finds the nerds in battle, and he wonders if he should help them. Haruka uses his appraisal skills on them, and is shocked to find that they won't need his help at all. They have way better classes than him, and Haruka has the worst skills even among the nerds. This reminds Haruka that unlike him, they actually have overpowered skills. Unfortunately, this is a lot like how things were in his old world. Haruka's class was full of top athletes and top students. They even had kids of celebrities, and Haruka often wondered how he ended up there. Haruka determines that the nerds can handle themselves, but he notices that some sneaky little goblins are sneaking up from behind them. Haruka remembers being friendly with the nerds in class, so he decides to help them out. The nerds thank him, so Haruka shows them his cave, and they marvel at how fancy it is. Haruka explains that he just learned how to use earth magic, and he used it to make his cave really secure. They wonder if Haruka did all this alone, so Haruka points out that he is always alone. Haruka wonders why the nerds are with the other students, and he is shocked when they reveal that they are on the run. It all started when everyone was transported before Haruka. Everyone was in shock, because they didn't know anything about being in another world, but the nerds were well known on this subject. They were already assigning points to their skills, so the jocks demanded information from them. Everyone else was falling apart, but the class rep knew that they needed to keep quiet in the woods. However, it was too late, as they were already found by a group of goblins. Haruka is shocked to hear that even the delinquents were trembling in fear, but this was the perfect time for the nerds to shine. They acted like they were the protagonists here, and they began taking out the goblins. The jocks were inspired by all the bravery shown by nerds, so they helped out, and the goblins were defeated. The class rep quickly gathered herself, and led everyone to a safe riverside. The nerds took the opportunity to shine even more, as they helped everyone set up camp. Thanks to their lifelong dedication to reading the light novels, they became experts in all things of another world, including survival. The class rep organized everyone, and put them to work. Soon enough everyone came together, and began working as one. However, this didn't last long, as the popular girls decided that they didn't want to work anymore. The class rep tried to explain that their best chance of surviving was by sticking together, but the group started to fall apart. They were all tired of working so hard, so they just left all the responsibilities to the nerds. The class eventually fell apart completely, and there was nothing the class rep could do. From then on only the class rep, the nerds, and a couple of other students did all work. The other students were just so lazy, so the nerds began to resent them. They were even in charge of doing all the fighting. The nerds were super dependable, as they just wanted to get stronger and level up. This was because they saw what skills the delinquents picked. Some of the skills they chose were charm and puppeteer, two abilities that grant controls over other people. The nerds knew that the delinquents had bad intentions, so they were leveling up to stand against them. The delinquents were working hard to level up as well, because they needed to use the skills. 
The nerds kept a very close eye on the delinquents, and they eventually heard what they planned to make some of the girls do. The nerds told the class rep, so she decided that she would have to level up as well. Unfortunately, the delinquents reached the level requirements for their skills soon after. The class rep just so happened to run into them at the worst moment, but seconds later the delinquents were on the ground. The nerds were prepared for this very moment, and they used their seal abilities to seal the charm and puppeteer skills of the delinquents. They exposed the forced harem plans of the delinquents, so the delinquents ran out of the camp. However, one night, the delinquents made their return, and they got their revenge by using weapons. They destroyed the camp, and declared that they would be back later, to cause more chaos. For some odd reason, the nerds ended up receiving all the blame for what happened. The popular girls that they kept from becoming puppets, ended up being the ones to turn on them first, and the other students followed. The class rep and a few other students took the nerds' side, but it was too much to deal with, and the nerds decided to just leave. Haruka feels bad for them, so he throws a mushroom party for them. Haruka ended up spending the next day with the nerds as well, and he determines that not being a loner is okay sometimes. Haruka eventually says goodbye to his new buddies, and they offer to let Haruka join them. They are going to look for a town, so they can get started as adventurers. Haruka agrees that he is closer to the nerds, compared to the other groups, but Haruka shocks everyone when he still declines. Haruka makes them go away, so the nerds leave. Haruka admits to himself that he would like to head into town, but he knows that with his terrible stats, he would only hold the others back. The nerds seem pretty worried about the class rep, so Haruka decides to go check on the other students. On his way there, Haruka is confronted by a cobalt, but he manages to punch it into unconsciousness. Haruka is surprised to see that no students has left at the campsite, and his enemy detection skill reveals some footprints. Following the trail, leads him to find the popular girls. Haruka panics and decides to get started on cooking dinner back home, but the popular girls try to stop him. They say that they just want to talk, but Haruka knows that being around them is the exact opposite of his quiet life. Haruka runs for his life, but he is shocked when the girls politely ask him to stop by saying please. The popular girls explain that they're looking for the nerds, but Haruka assumes that they just want to put them to work again. However, the popular girls shock Haruka as they want to apologize to the nerds because they just now realize that they owe their lives to them. Haruka knows that these girls have never apologized in their entire lives, but they are very serious. Haruka breaks the bad news by explaining that they have no chance of catching up to the nerds, but they still want to know where they went. Haruka points out that they wouldn't make it out of the woods the way they are now, because they don't even know how to fight. The popular girls are discouraged, but Haruka demands to know if this means that they are just going to give up. Haruka demands to know if they are serious about apologizing to the nerds, and Haruka thinks about how he needs to test these girls, for the sake of the nerds. However Haruka's tough motivation tactic backfires, as the popular girls begin to cry. They just wanted to apologize to the nerds, but now they fear that they will be eaten, Haruka has no clue what's going on, so the popular girls beg for Haruka to teach him how to survive until they find the nerds. Haruka accidentally says yes, and this activates his domination skill. This makes Haruka rule over the popular girls, and Haruka wonders how this could have happened. The popular girls end up following him around like lost puppies with soulless eyes. It is also terrifying, because the popular girls now finish off monsters without a single word. They even bring crystals dropped by the monsters, like they are dogs returning a frisbee. Haruka tries to heal the girls, but they just heal him, even though he doesn't need it. Haruka fears what the class rep would say if she saw all this, and Haruka wonders how he can cancel his domination skill. Just then, the class rep finds him, but Haruka is thinking too hard about a solution to even notice. Haruka doesn't realize that she is there at all, so class rep forces him to acknowledge her. Elsewhere the delinquents make a plan of their own, and they determine that they must start by getting rid of their biggest problem. So now what will happen next? Subscribe to our channel to find out what will happen next. So friends, if you liked our recap video, then please like and share this video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.